Hello, everyone. Welcome back to freepilotgroundschool.ca. This is our uh, lesson on exercise eight, our preparatory ground instruction. We're going to be discussing descending uh, the aircraft. We can break down descents into two different types of descents. We can talk about power on descents and power off descents. Power on descents are most common. Uh, just when you're at a high altitude, you want to get to a lower altitude. There's no real reason to slow down. So you're just going to leave your power on and uh, adjust the the power to achieve the speed and rate of descent that you want. Usually, while well, we're pilots, we like going fast. You can also have power off descents, typically used for landing. Let's talk about some theory for descending. So let's say when we have a power off descent, we have no real thrust. So how come the aircraft keeps moving forward? Well, the vector from the from pitching nose down from the lift uh, will result in kind of a forward uh, vector uh, that provides us forward motion for gliding. If we look here, uh, this is called a drag polar. As we increase our speed and at higher speeds and higher sink rates, if we look here, if we have high speed, we're right here, or if we are very uh, want to uh, decrease our speed, we're right here. But if we're at minimum sink, that's right here. Okay, that's going to be your um, your speed for uh, minimum sink. Uh, let's say it's kind of somewhat similar to your best endurance speed. And if we just take a tangent line right here, you can see the tangent. That's going to be your best lift drag ratio or your best glide speed right here. Okay, so even though we're descending at a greater rate than the minimum sink speed. We're also traveling a lot farther, for, uh, faster forward direction, so we're getting the best glide. There are three main factors that affect descents. Uh, flaps, uh, when we put our flaps out, we have more drag. More drag means we have a higher rate of descent. Power will also affect our uh, descent. The more power we have on, the less we will descend. And then lastly, we have wind. Uh, if we are flying into a headwind, the aircraft will sink or will not glide as far. It will still sink at the same rate, but it will not glide as far forward. And conversely, a tailwind will be able to glide farther than if we don't have a wind at all. This topic will come up uh, quite often in your training is judging gliding distance. You're going to have to figure out uh, when you are descending, am I going to be touching the ground where I want to be touching the ground, or am I going to be going past where I want to be touching down or before? So the first time you're going to experience this is on approach for landing early in your flight training. You're going to be coming in for landing and you're going to be sitting there going, how do I know how much power to apply? Okay, and the way you want to do this is you want to pick a point on the ground. So typically this point on the ground will be where you intend to touch down. If this point moves up your windshield, it means you will undershoot that point. And if it moves down on your windshield, it will mean you overshoot that point. Hopefully this will become obvious when you see it in the aircraft. And then obviously we'll adjust uh, power accordingly. And you might ask like, how do I know how much power to adjust? Well, that's why you're taking flying lessons. You're going to uh, figure that out when you are in the air. So similar to climbing, we also have a descent uh, procedure for descending, uh, but it's somewhat backwards. It's power attitude trim. So when you descend, first you reduce the power to the desired setting. Then we allow the attitude to uh, go to the appropriate attitude. So typically a gentle nose down attitude, or if we're leveling off, we're turning the cruise attitude. And then we trim the aircraft to relieve control pressure. The rule of thumb for when we start our uh, level off is the same as for a climb. It's 10% of the rate of descent. So if you're descending at 500 feet a minute, begin your level off 50 feet prior to the target altitude. There's a rough uh, approximation for figuring out how if we want to increase our rate of descent or not. And that is uh, 100 RPM is typically 100 feet a minute. So if we are at a given speed, 70 knots, let's just say descending at 400 feet a minute, but we want to do 500 feet a minute, just pull your power off by about 100 RPM. That's an approximation anyway. Keep in mind uh, when you're descending uh, of carb heat and mixture requirements. Let's watch a video now of the procedure on how we're going to enter a descent and how we're going to level off from a descent. 
to do a power off descent, start with reducing the power first. And of course, you'll have to put the mixture in if descending. Allow the aircraft's attitude to reach the appropriate nose down attitude. and trim out any control forces. To level off, add power back to the appropriate cruise RPM setting. Raise the nose to the appropriate cruise attitude and trim out any control forces. We can also do on route descents or power on descents. They are conducted just like power off descents, but of course we just leave the power in the cruise RPM region. To level off from a power on or on route descent, leave the power in the cruise RPM setting, raise the nose to the cruise attitude and trim out any control forces. In the event of a balked landing, add full power and raise the nose. Climb out just like you would after takeoff, but immediately retract the flaps to 20 degrees and then to 10 degrees and 0 degrees as the speed accelerates. look at some instrument indications. Our airspeed, it can be anywhere on a descent, uh, can be really anywhere. Sometimes if we leave our power on, it might be faster than cruise speed. We could be descending at the cruise speed, or we could be descending slower cruise speed, like if we're coming in for a landing. Our attitude indicator showing nose down typically, our altimeter is decreasing, and our vertical uh, speed indicator, or VSI in the bottom right hand, is showing a descent. Let's review this lesson. The procedure for entering a descent is power attitude trim. We reduce the power, adjust the attitude, and trim the aircraft. The factors that affect a descent are the power setting, flaps, and wind. Thanks for joining me on this preparatory ground instruction for descent. We'll see you on our next lesson on turns.